Ryan Moore. So we're coming right back at you with some more information and updates. So right now we have the new cable coming uh, together. You got the 419 Morse logo. Uh, these are available in sticker form too in a smaller version. Which is so. Uh, we got the decals. Uh, we have the Facebook page up that you can contact us on as 419 Morbs, or you can just send, send us a message. That works too. Uh, but right now we're going to introduce one of the snakes in the collection. This is Ember. She is a Orange Dream Extreme, and she is a female. And as you can see, we have the orange coming, the orange flames coming up on her from the Orange Dream. And you also have the extreme gene kind of influences this chocolate drip right here. Uh, there's not really too much information about the extreme gene out there. Um, it is an enhancer gene, but like I said, I do know that one of the characteristics of the extreme gene in combos and stuff is you do get that little chocolate drip right here. And you may even get them, you know, down here, but she doesn't have those. It's just mainly at her tail. So this is Ember, we don't know what we're going to do with her yet. But this goes on to another topic of recessive genes in your pets. So if you were to take her, a lot of people ask is, can I take this and breed this with so and so? Am I going to get this? Well, it depends on if it's a recessive gene that you're trying to mate to a dominant gene or not. So what that means is she is all dominant. So she, there's no recessive gene in her at all. So I can go and mix her with an Enchi or another Orange Dream and I can possibly still get that combo. Now if I go try to breed her to a clown, a ghost, um, albinos, anything like that that's recessive, you're going to get a whole bunch of heads. Which is fine because if you you know breed a visual to whoever you're breeding it with, you're all, they're all going to be 100% heads. So you can just hold those back, breed them back to mom or dad, or you know, find another hat or visual and hopefully hit those odds. So you're not gonna go making a visual recessive gene snake off a of dominant. It's not gonna work. That snake does not have that recessive gene in it somewhere. You will not get that visual out of it. So I know a lot of people have been asking that. Uh, we'll go more over with that, but we're just doing a quick update and we were just showing her um, and I did have some people ask that. So that kind of sums that up a little bit. So just make sure you know what's recessive and what's not for the most part. Um, that will, you know, do all your problems away with that. So uh, I spent a little bit extra money on the visuals uh, to make the heads. Uh, depending on what kind of combos I want to go with. Um, maybe an ultra mill orange dream down the future with this. Uh, we'll see. Who knows? Uh, that'd be kind of cool. But we're going to have to make a whole bunch of hets first to breed back to the visual to try to hit my visual. So that's the only way that's going to work out. So that takes time. So you can either buy into it or you can make it. What one do you want to do? Uh, make it is a little bit more fun. But we do have uh, the new rack system coming here, hopefully sometime this week. Uh, so this whole thing will be all different. We'll have the incubator set up. We will be doing videos on that and that review. So be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to get your stickers on 419 Morse Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe on this channel. We will do more updates later on. We're just doing a quick update video because it's been a while. Just Showing you guys that we haven't forgot about you. Don't forget to like the channel. We're out of here. 419 Morris, and we're out.